everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be giving you all a tour of two builds that I built off camera uh, when I was trying to like build up a save file. There's a park and a library and this video was recorded quite a while ago um, but I actually had some editing problems so I've finally been able to get around to uploading it and yeah that's it for the intro. Let's get into the tours. Um, I basically was like missing a lot of like the way the parks were from The Sims 3. Um, and so I wanted to build a park in The Sims 4 that was kind of similar, um, but have like a city hall. I don't know, I just really wanted to build like a city hall with like a park around it. Um, so that's what this build is, and it has, um, that kind of like main center area with like the chess tables and like the fountain, just like how The Sims 3 parks are. Um, and so that's kind of like how I built this one, but as you can see, they have a, um, kind of like parking area here so I made like a parking area um, for obviously like the city hall building over here and if you come here there's like a nice little sign a little area with like some greenery and benches and I did put like um, a skating rink over here you can change it for like whatever weather you have like you can um, change out the ice rink for like the roller rink um, depending on the season that you want it to be in um, but yeah, I have a rink over here and then if you go like down the steps over here um, There's like chess table areas where they can do that. There's a nice little water fountain. They can throw coins in um, And play in as well. I think um, Another chess table over here some benches to sit on a little bike who's over there And then I made this little area with a I think it's like coffee and like little snacks like that and then there's like some picnic benches with umbrellas to shield you from the sun. Um, and then if you go over here, you can go up the steps obviously this way, or you can come up the steps over here. Um, and it goes up into this little play area. A nice little sand play area. We have it for um, toddlers and we also have it for like kids as well. So everyone can come on the playground and play in the sand obviously like if you have the um island living pack then they can like actually build sand castles and stuff if you have um sand terrain so they can build sand castles and play in the sand and just have a good time and then over here we have a little like gardening area i just put like a couple of planters out here just so like you could have like a little community kind of thing if you wanted to and then there's some bathrooms over here this is just kind of like a walkway i guess to exit and then over here is kind of just a grass area. Um, I put a little, there's like, obviously like you can throw a football or play soccer or something. And then um, I have this nice little area that looks like maybe they're gonna have like some kind of picnic um, that's underneath the tree there. So yeah, just a nice little chill area um, that they can um, go and like play. And I just wanted to have like some area that had grass in it just cause the rest of the park is like very, um, manicured with like all the stone and the like pathways and stuff like that so I just wanted to have like you know a sand play area and then like an area with some like greenery and some grass so yeah that's like this nice town square park and then obviously if we go up here um this is the kind of town hall or like city hall area they have a nice little community board out here so you can see what's going on um a little thing out here maybe advertising something that's going to be happening and on the inside, it's just like, I don't know, there's like a little front desk here and a little fountain in the hall. And then if you go over here, I put like a little like podium. It's supposed to be like a mini courtroom. I didn't really know what to put in here, but I know like in some places, um, the city hall is like a little court area. Um, so I put a little courtroom thing in here. Um, so your sim can practice like debate and stuff um if you want or you can like do a story or something i don't know but that is um in here a little like courthouse area and then if you go back in through here there's a little like community room um that obviously if you want to hold some kind of event that's like inside then you can do it in here maybe like a wedding or a baby shower or um i don't know whatever you want to do um there's a little room that's in here um that you can host parties in and then there's a little area where your sim can like come here and like get married in the city hall um if they don't want to do like a whole wedding then they can just use this room and obviously not have like a reception if they wanted to and just like get married 
Um, but I thought that would help with like, I don't know, if you don't have wedding stories, um, then you can have like a city hall wedding. Um, that's just like a quick, like easy wedding without doing the whole shebang. Um, and there's a little like bar thing back here if they want to have drinks after. And so, yeah, that's in here. And then if you go up the stairs here, um, just like a chandelier and, um, in through this door here, that's just like a simple bathroom, uh, for your Sims. And the rest of the top floor is like an area for, um, I don't know, business Sims or, um, if you have Sims that are in, they need to like do research and debate or something. Um, cause obviously city hall is a place where they do like community stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't know a lot about it obviously, but, um, like city planning and things like that, I'm pretty sure happen in like city halls. So I just like did it for um that reason um but you can like do gameplay in here if you wanted to like if you have a sim that works in city planning um which i think came with eco lifestyle um or if they're like i don't know having their university degree and you want them to pretend that they're doing some kind of internship here or something i don't know make something up you know be creative about it um but that is in here if you want and then um across the hall over here and then across the hall on the same side over here it's just kind of like um, balconies on both sides um, just like the way that I built it but yeah you can get across both ends but on this end um, it goes into an office space so maybe I don't know the mayor comes in this room or someone of some kind of authority figure um, has this like little kind of office area here and I did pull out this chair because I know that the sims are gonna be you know you're gonna have your sims come to the park to like play with their kids and then they're just gonna run in here and start playing like the computer so I made sure that this isn't like slotted into the chair like that so that they can't um, come up here and access the computer um, but anyways if we go across to this side um, on this hallway area you can get to a boardroom. Um, I tried to make it look like they're talking about, I don't know, business things. They're talking about business things, okay? Um, <laughs> and that's what this room is. So it's a little boardroom here. And um, yeah, I think that's it for this build. That's all I did. A nice little city hall area with, you know, businessy things in it. And then also, you know, um, a place to have parties or weddings and that area. And then just like a regular sort of park where you can garden and I just want to like have a lot of activities basically when I went to the park because sometimes I'll take my sims to the park and I'm like I don't know what to do <laughs> so I wanted them to have a bunch of activities so yeah I think it it turned out the way I think I wanted it to and I think it had the vibes enough of like a sims 3 park that I was um, pretty happy with it so I'm pretty happy with this build um, and the way that it turned out um, I will also have this one for download in the description as well if you would like to download it and I think we're gonna do one more tour um, of another build I did and so that one will be coming up um, next okay and I think this is going to be the last build I'm gonna show um, in the video today um, but this build is also one that I posted on my tumblr a while ago like a while ago like I think maybe almost a year ago or a year ago um, but um, this is like a public library that I built um, it's in like that kind of cul-de-sac um, neighborhood in um, Willow Creek and um, yeah it's just it's got a little like thing on the side here like a bus stop area and this is actually functional this is a um, like mod thing by um, Ravishing. So if you click on this, um, you can like basically choose like where you want to travel to. So it functions kind of like it's a bus stop. Um, and you do have to pay money um, when you use it. So that's kind of cool. But I decided to put that in here. Um, so it's like a little bus stop is on the side there. Um, and yeah, it's just like a little library. Um, there's some like bike racks out here to put your bikes and like little parking spaces on the side here. It's only two, but I don't know, there's kind of a park on the street, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, there's little parking spaces here. And then I wanted to have like a little area for like kids to play. So if you like walk over here from like that area, there's a little fenced in area for like kids and stuff to go on. And this is also um, a piece of like CC or mod. Um, and they are actually functional. So your kids can go on these little rides. It's like the little ones that kind of go back and forth. Um, at like parks and stuff like that so they have these little I don't know what they're called a spring rider 
the spring riders are here and then um there's a swing set and then a little slide for toddlers and obviously your parents parent sims can like sit on the benches and watch their kids play um and yeah so that was a nice little area that i built here um on the side and um now we'll go on the inside of the build um so if you walk in there's just like a little section that shows i don't know maybe some like new releases that are out some books that they're trying to advertise um there's a nice little like front desk here um to check out books and things like that even though obviously that doesn't happen oh the archway is gone for some reason let me put that back actually i think i used originally like a cc archway so i think that's why it's gone but we don't really need a cc archway so we'll just put in a base game um archway here um because i've cleaned out my mods folder so i guess some of that is missing i think it was just because the archways were a little bit um bigger the ones that i had there originally that were cc um but these ones are fine so i'll just put those in there but anyways it's a nice little like library area some books are um you know being advertised here in the middle and then obviously your sims can read whatever that is on the shelves um there's a little chess area right there for them to play chess um yeah it gets quite a bit of light too which is really nice um so yeah there's that in there and then if we come through this hallway there's some more books being advertised here and on the shelves and then um we have these like bookshelves area so you can come and read um whatever stuff that you want to read in here um and then obviously like another sitting area here for your sims to go into and um if we go into this room over here it's one of my favorite rooms i love this room i wanted it to feel like a public library that has like those like kid areas where like the kids can go and like do art and read and maybe they have like um, a person that comes in here and they like read to the kids every once in a while um so there's like a chair here and then like some things on the floor so i really like that um i think it's really cute um but yeah basically there's like this little like couch area in here um so they can like come and sit and i love all the art on the walls it just really does like feel like what it looks like when um they have those like kid areas so i really like it and i like that you can kind of like see it from outside as well it just feels you know i guess the way that it looks in real life so i like that um and then they are displaying some of the art that the kids have done um there's a little dollhouse in here so if your kids are bored and they don't want to do want, don't want to read <laughs> then they can come here and play um in the little dollhouse here there's a toy chest obviously some bookshelves here and then an area where your um, sim kids can come here and do some art. So yeah, I really like this room. It's so warm and inviting. And if I was a kid, I would love coming in here and playing. So that's this area. Um, and then there's an upstairs area as well. So if we go upstairs, um, it's like this little area with a balcony um, that like looks down onto like the rest of the build um, down here in the library area. Um, this is just like access to the roof which is why it like has a sign on it that's like you can't go over here so i guess like if there's maintenance or something that needed to be done um i don't know i just put that there <laughs> um but yeah there's like areas for like computers and stuff this is um cc so this is another piece of cc in here um as i said it's like cc light so there's not like an insane amount of cc it's just like a couple things here and there that i wanted to put in but yeah, it's like a little study area. So if you're, you're, I don't know, high school teens want to go and like do study here. If they have like a, you have get together and they are in some kind of like group or like a club, um, then they can get like homework and stuff done here. Or if you have university students, they can get some stuff done here um, as well. And then there's like some more computer areas on the sides here um, where they can get some computer work done. And then there's just like bathrooms that I put in here. They're basically the same they're just copied um on either side and um yeah i think that's it for this library area i really like this library um i like the way it turned out sometimes it's really hard to do community lots i find um but i really like the way that this one um ended up looking and i think that's it um for this video um i'm sure i'll do more because there's still um, some builds that I want to show you guys 
and put up for download and everything that I put um, or that I showed in this video will be put up for download um, and have like the CC linked inside the folder and everything um, but yeah I think that's it for today hopefully I'll get a speed build video out um, at some point this week yeah I think that's about it for today and I'll see you all next time bye